What will happen to your cat if something happens to you? Your pets, while part of your family, are legally only property. And when an owner passes, they are often euthanized, even if they're healthy. Most people naively believe family or friends will take in their pet, but in most cases, they end up at the local shelter. And while shelters and rescues do their best to find homes for all of their animals, senior cats are not seen as adoptable, even though they may have many good years left. And senior kitties usually have extra medical needs that make adoption even more challenging. That is why Heart Set Purr Feline Guardian Hospice and Sanctuary was created. They provide a safe place for senior cats to go when they have lost their family or are in need of their own end-of-life care that their owner cannot provide. In addition, they offer a foster program where senior humans can foster senior cats, providing companionship for both. They also have a care plan where owners can designate Heart Set Purr as the caretakers of their cat if anything should happen to them. Heart Set Purr has helped so many families. Here are just a few of their stories. Meet Chloe. This is her story. Chloe's owner was 90 years old when he went into hospice. He couldn't take her with him and no one wanted her. She was shy and scared and a senior kitty. It is very hard to find homes for senior cats. So she was left in his apartment alone until someone reached out to the Heart Set Purr feline guardians and asked them if they could take her. When they came to get her, she was the only thing left in the apartment, besides the crate she was hiding in. While in hospice, her owner begged to know if Chloe was all right, if she had a new home, if she was safe. When the rescue heard, they sent pictures of Chloe and told him that they were taking good care of her. Within hours of him seeing the picture and knowing that she would be cared for, he passed away. Now at 16, Chloe continues to live her life in safety and love at the hearts of Purr. She's made new friends, feline and human alike, and is very loved. This is Miss Calico's story. A few years ago, an elderly woman named Christiane lived alone with her three cats. One day, she became ill and needed to go to the hospital. She wasn't sure how long she'd be gone, so she filled pots and pans with food and water for her cats. Unfortunately, Christiane went straight from the hospital into a care facility. She told anyone that would listen that she had cats home alone, but no one would help her. Thankfully, a social worker at the facility eventually heard about the cats and reached out to Hearts That Purr for help. They took in the three elderly cats, promising to hold them until she was well enough to care for them again. Their owner was so relieved to hear that her cats were safe that she ended up passing away the next day. The woman had no family except her cats, so the funeral home gave her cremations to Heart Set Purr so that her and her cats would be together. Since her passing, two of her cats have passed as well, and their ashes have been put with their owners. Miss Calico is the only remaining cat from the bonded trio, and while a senior and deaf, she is happy and will live out the rest of her days at the sanctuary in peace and love. And when it is time for her to pass on, her ashes will be added to those of her mother, sister, and brother so they can be laid to rest together. Jasmine is 16 years old and was brought to Heart Set Purr after her owner passed away unexpectedly. She was brought in with two bonded friends, Tom Tom and Molly, who have since passed away. Heart Set Purr has their vet come to the cats when it's their time to pass, so there's no extra stress to them. And they never force medications or treatments. They find new and inventive ways to help them, but if a cat is no longer agreeable to it, then they stop. And when a cat arrives at the sanctuary and their name is known, then they always keep it. It may be the only thing that is still theirs after their owner passes. And every cat that enters is part of the Heart Set Purr family, and when they pass, they are never forgotten. Jasmine has severe arthritis and moves slowly in her older years, but she is still happy. She is the loudest when it comes to mealtimes, and she receives special targeted electromagnetic therapy for her arthritis. Sweetie was the first resident at the Heart Set Purr Feline Hospice and Sanctuary. Sweetie's owner lived alone, and one day she fell while in her kitchen. She was unable to move, so Sweetie came and laid next to her on the floor. It took three days for someone to find them. He never left her side. She miraculously survived the experience and was moved into an assisted living facility. Sweetie could not go with her. The owner's family took 17-year-old Sweetie to the vet and asked what they should do with him. The vet recommended the Hearts of Purr Sanctuary and Sweetie got to live the rest of his life at the sanctuary and his owner even came to visit him. 
Wrigley was brought to Hartset Per for hospice care when she was 18 years old. She was suffering from a neurological tremor and other health issues, and her owner just couldn't take care of her medical needs. Before long, her owner needed her own hospice care. And when that happened, the owner's other cat, Augustus, came to join the cat sanctuary. Wrigley is now 21 years old and loves to meet people and has a favorite napping spot. Hartsep Her will be there to care for them for the rest of their lives. Silky Smokes and Shadow Number 2 were all taken in as feral cats by their owners. They are feral, meaning that they're frightened by humans and do not like close interaction with them. Silky and Smokes are seniors, while Shadow Number 2 is only six. Their owners passed and they needed somewhere to go. They couldn't be adopted due to their behavioral restraints, and they couldn't be part of a feral cat barn program as they are seniors and have lived indoors for so long. The sanctuary was able to take them in and will keep them happy and comfortable as they live out their lives. Felicia is 21 years old and blind. She was in the public shelter when Hearts That Purr rescued her. They have no idea how she got there or what her story is, but they do know that she loves to be pet and she loves to lay by the window. She has her own little daily routine and eats really well. Their goal is to keep her happy and to make sure that she feels loved for as long as she physically feels well. And when that day comes that she no longer feels well, they will call their vet to help her pass peacefully in the space that has become her home, surrounded by the people that love her. Jazz's owner was put in an assisted living facility Jazz was then left to live at home all alone. Family would come and feed her, but she missed her owner and became severely depressed. She gained lots of extra weight and she stopped grooming herself, which created painful matted fur all over her body. Thankfully, she was brought to the Heart Set Purr Feline Sanctuary where she was groomed and is no longer alone. She is now happy and has friends, and her family can come visit her at the sanctuary whenever they want. Shadow's owner passed away, and before she died, she made her husband promise to care for him. He did his very best, but at 93 years old, he was struggling to take care of himself. Giving medicine to a spicy 18-year-old Shadow was impossible. So he took Shadow to the vet to be euthanized, feeling like he had failed Shadow and his wife. The vet knew about Hartset Per Feline Hospice and Sanctuary and helped get Shadow a place there. And while he is still his spicy self, he is making new friends and is well cared for. Oreo came to the Hartset Per Feline Sanctuary with his bonded friend Puff. Their owner had dementia and no longer recognized them. She would get confused and toss them outside or forget to feed them. They didn't understand what was happening while family took in their owner, the situation was too stressful for them. And at 15 years old, Oreo and Puff needed a new home, one where they were safe and cared for. Thankfully, they found their way to Hearts That Purr Feline Sanctuary, which will be their new forever home. Sam and Sal's owner lived alone and had no friends. She was 99 years old and called 911 for help. The ambulance arrived and took her to the hospital, but on the way she died, and her last words were, don't let my boys die. Rescuers went back to the house and found the two senior cats. No one knew their names. They were taken to the pound and scheduled to be euthanized. A woman from the Humane Society found hearts that purr and called them to rescue the brothers. The boys were given names and lived out their lives at the sanctuary, just as their owner had wanted. There are two benches at the front of the sanctuary to remember the two boys and their lives. They will never be forgotten. 14-year-old sisters, Phantom and Cascade, were just kittens when their owner rescued them. He had been at work when he saw their mother get hit by a car. When he went to go check on her, he found the two kittens. He took them in and has had them since. Unexpectedly, he died of a heart attack, and no one in the family wanted them. Thankfully, they ended up at the Hearts That Purr Feline Hospice and Sanctuary, as Phantom is a diabetic, so if they had ended up at the shelter, they would have most likely been separated and or euthanized. Senior cat KK was abandoned by her owner when she moved. The neighbor ended up taking her in. KK was happy and cared for until her new owner got injured. A cut on her leg became infected and her owner died from sepsis. KK was once again homeless. 
A friend tried to help by calling around to family, friends, and church members, but no one could take in 15-year-old KK. She did eventually find hearts that purr. KK is sweet and healthy, so they'll be putting her in their senior citizens for senior citizens fostering program. That way, KK can be someone's companion pet. But when they can no longer care for her, she will return to the sanctuary. She will always have a home. Oscar has kidney disease and his owner couldn't take care of him. She couldn't rehome him as he was just also diagnosed with renal disease. She took Oscar to the public shelter, but they wouldn't take him due to his health conditions. Thankfully, they directed her to Hearts That Purr Feline Hospice and Sanctuary. Without them, he would have been euthanized. Now he can get the care he needs and live out his life in love. And his owner can still visit him. One day, the Heart Set Purr Feline Hospice and Sanctuary received a very distressing phone call. The woman who ran a neighboring cat rescue had a stroke and could no longer care for the cats. Not only could she no longer run the rescue, she was unable to care for her own personal cat, Carrie Ann. Carrie Ann is a senior and has spent her life around 40 or more cats at a time. She wouldn't do well in a traditional home, so the sanctuary took her in, hoping someday she'd be able to return to her owner when she recovered. While they still hope that that day will come, they continue to care for Carrie Ann. As for the dozens of other cats that were at the rescue, many other cat rescues came together and took the cats. Hearts That Purr took in the senior bonded sisters, Jane and Carol. Jane and Carol were adopted as kittens from the cat rescue. They lived their whole lives together until their owner suddenly passed. At nine years old, they were returned to the cat rescue that they had been adopted from. The senior sisters were terrified to be around new people and animals, and then the very next day, the rescue owner had a stroke. Thankfully, the sisters were then transferred to the Hearts That Purr Cat Sanctuary. Since then, Carol has passed away. Jane has been able to make new friends and is doing well at the sanctuary. While unexpected tragedy turned Jane and Carol's lives upside down, they ended up somewhere safe where they would be loved. They are lucky. Most senior cats end up stuck at the shelter or euthanized after their owners pass. Make plans for your beloved pets. Have it written in your will and or connect with a cat sanctuary that offers care programs. Make sure you can answer the question. What happens to your pet if something happens to you?